I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be, if you hesitate, women will too. I've got an email here from a viewer, and he says, Hey Corey, it's been a while since I last wrote to you. Let me give you an update on a few things. I've been insanely busy these days. I'm finally getting paid as an actor to the point where I can work part-time in something that I hate as opposed to full-time. I am much busier, but I'm loving life. And so here's my inspirational story. So the day before a play that I was in that I was not getting paid for, I get fired from my job. It was in telemarketing, and it was a tough job, and I got fired for not making quota. However, as devastated as I was and really scared and not knowing how I was going to pay rent, bills, food, and so forth, it was really important for me to focus the night before and day on the opening show. I warmed up thoroughly, and on opening show day, that stuff didn't matter because I was so focused on the task at hand. Good job. That's what you should have done. You're focusing on your purpose. The result, a theater director who was well-known in the area came and saw the show and was really impressed with my performance and gave me a paying role on the spot, the first paying gig in my entire life. He's working to become an actor. And he's got his first paying job as an actor. That's pretty great. Good job. He says... He says, it's a good stepping stone. After that, I've been busier than ever acting-wise, and in the process, I founded my own theater company with a bunch of theater grads with two shows lined up for 2013 season. This is what I wanted to talk about. One of my business partners is female. There is a bit of history between us where she was into me last year, but I rejected her without me picking up on the clues that she was into me. Several times as well. When we were at college parties, she was grinding me at clubs, constantly kissing my cheek and stuff. You couldn't figure it out, dude? And me being stupid, I didn't take any action. During the last play we were in together, yeah, she either assumed that you had no interest or maybe you were gay or you were insecure. He said the one where the director hired me on the spot after my performance and the attraction happened again. During the cast parties, she would be touching me, grabbing my leg and stuff. Recently, with day-to-day -day business activities with running this business, we are flirting, hugging each other. And when we were just talking business, she would bring her legs around my leg when we were just shooting the shit or waiting for a bus or something. When we are texting back and forth with business stuff, we were always combining it with teasing and flirting and stuff. It's like, dude, why aren't you making a move? It was getting to the point where our friends thought we were dating. My buddy is like, there's so much sexual tension between you two. You need to get on that. It's like, if this is going on and all your friends are noticing and you're still not making an effort, this is not making you look good in her eyes. So he says, and then their life is the, is the, uh, the fucking girls, or her girl, I guess girls that he knows, are saying, you two would be a cute couple. He says, I hate it when others get involved in my fucking personal life. He says, when we were having one of our teasing back and forth battles at night, I asked her out. There was a, a classic movie that she wanted to see that I got for my birthday from a friend, and I invited her over to my place to watch it. So I was flirting and teasing her back and forth, and then I asked her out. I tried to get the specific time for her to come over, but was unable to do that, and then she said, I will let you know what I am doing that night because it's Thanksgiving up here in Canada. At this point, I knew then and there that she wasn't going to come by with her response in the text. So today we ended up talking to each other about some good news for the business and stuff. However, I still wanted to pursue this thing and I said after the the good news, are you coming over tonight? Knowing that she was going to say no and hopefully going to set up a, do a definite date. She said, no, I'm going to Toronto tomorrow to see my agent. I have to get up early. I waited a bit so that she would give me a counter offer, but she didn't. However, she's a really shy girl at the same time. Now you're rationalizing her behavior. I mean, at the end of the day, if she was really shy, she wouldn't be touching you and giving you all those signs for, I guess, a year or two now, and you still haven't made a move. He says, so however, I let her talk about her agent and stuff, and then I brought it up again, and I said, what are you doing this week? Let's, get, let's go watch the movie together this week. And she said, I'm working all week, and you have that play unless you're not doing anything after Saturday night. And I said, no, I'm not doing anything Saturday night, and I don't have to perform on Sunday, so how about 11 at my place on Saturday? She agreed to that. What do you think? If she comes, it would be cool. If she doesn't, well, I won't keep pursuing her, and I guess I will continue with business as usual. Yeah, I mean, you set a definite date, so if she keep it, 
keeps it, great. And if not, it just means you fucking waited way too long. He says, it just really sucks, though. If she does reject the second date, I won't take it personal, but I just don't get why people pursue me and and then don't want to go out with me. It's because you're waiting too long, dude. It's like everybody around you is like going, dude, fucking make a move, you know? And you're doing nothing. That's that's why. It's like because you communicate that you're weak or you're unsure of yourself or maybe you're not interested or maybe that you're gay. And either way, that's not what a woman wants. A woman wants a guy who's successful with other women, a guy who goes for what he wants, a guy who doesn't hesitate. And you're fucking hesitating left and right. you got to fucking pull the trigger. I mean, you're the one with the penis. It's up to you to arrange an opportunity for sex to happen. She's giving you all kinds of si signals and signs that she's interested, but you're just kind of sitting on your hands, just kind of totally oblivious to the fact that it's going on. And you can't tell me that you didn't realize it was going on. You were just kind of ignoring it, obviously. He says, I always wait for women to show up and see what happens. I'm ambitious and confident. I mean, and you shouldn't wait. It's like when you see a girl you like, you need to make a date in the spot. You don't just sit and wait for her to, to make, do all the work. I'm ambitious and confident with myself career-wise and stuff, but the fact of approaching other women that I don't know honestly terrifies me and still does. I don't know what to do. Watch the video I, that I did a while back called Improving Your Social Skills. Google Corey Wayne, Improving Your Social Skills. Watch the video, go to the mall and practice. You're a fucking actor, after all, and you should have no problem doing exactly what I say in there because not only will it help you in your personal life, but it'll help you become a better actor because you'll be interacting with other people, especially the opposite sex, and especially when you've got scenes with the opposite sex, it'll be a lot easier for you to play it off as if it was real and make it believable just because repetition is a mother of skill, and the more you do something, the better you get at it. So this tells me that you're sitting on the sidelines, you're waiting for a girl to drop in your lap, and when you see girls that you like, you're too terrified to make a move. And the reason why you're that way is because you don't practice at all. <clears throat> he says, it's pathetic, I know, and this is something I should have taken charge of three years ago, but every day, week, month, and then another year goes by with me not having a girlfriend, and I am lucky I will get a date and no follow-up after the third date. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Get a fucking prostitute? It's like, no, you're supposed to take some fucking action. Stop sitting on your hands and take advantage of the opportunities that are in front of you as soon as you notice them. And get your ass to the mall and start practicing like I talk about in the video I did, improving your social skills so you can get better at pulling the trigger because you're just sitting around waiting for women to do all the work and you're the man. Women don't want control. They want the guy to take control. And you're just sitting around waiting for things to happen. So take some action. So if you have a question you want to ask me, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which will be on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me one to two paragraphs max, and just give me several days to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which will be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook on my website, underneath the email sign-up box, is a box that has a link that will take you right to the download page for my book once you get there. If you don't have a Kindle device already, just on the right-hand side of the download page, there's a button you can click to download a free e-reader app for your smartphone, tablet device, or your computer. It only takes a matter of seconds to download and install the app and complete the purchase of my book. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in my videos and the articles on my website and my e-book, you can show your appreciation by going to my website and on the Wibia toolbar, which will be at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.